This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Hello there everybody, it is me Fizer Bunny, and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So today we're building another dorm and this time we are in Foxbury. Now Foxbury is another one of the two campuses that you can attend if you have university. Foxbury is the one that specializes in tech. And it's also the more modern campus, which is why today we're building this very modern contemporary dorm for your Foxbury students. Um, so this is a fully functional student residence. It's got 10 bedrooms and all of those bedrooms are fully furnished for a single sim. Um, most of the bedrooms are furnished with basic generic furniture. I was only able to customize four of them because to be honest you guys, I can only handle four sims any more than that and it would probably drive me crazy. Earlier this year, a couple of months ago, when Realm of Magic came out, I made a build and I made like 10 sims for that and it kind of drive me crazy and I'm still traumatized. I think I still have PTSD from that experience. So not this time um so yeah hopefully you guys will be okay with it i know some of you won't be happy by the fact that some of the rooms aren't personalized but you know it is what it is originally this was also supposed to be much taller but i ended up messing around with the proportions a little bit playing around with it and ended up making it a little bit shorter but a lot wider so you guys will see that progression as we go through but i did look at some reference images of dorms online and i saw that um a lot of them were just really boxy and square and to be honest i don't hate the boxy aesthetic because I feel like it's very realistic so I wanted to um, make that kind of like you know my like reference I guess so my main inspiration for this build is actually the Bauhaus movement which really specializes in making really minimalist simple structures but in a very elegant way yes some of it can be boxy but it's very very elegant in my opinion so that's kind of like the look that i tried to capture here also a lot of the dorms that i looked at were like literally brick so i wanted to capture that as well so in my mind this brick structure is the more older part of the building and then as the years progressed as they had more and more students they expanded upward by adding this really nice modern extension at the top and i'm just really really happy with this build honestly it's hands down one of my favorite builds i've ever done and you guys will see this fun little detail of me adding in a ramp um for sims who are in a wheelchair we don't have that but i just thought that that was a neat little detail right here because i have experience working with public buildings in real life like this mixed use residential type buildings and these just make it so realistic so i'm using a roof here um, obviously it's not functional but I just really love how realistic it ended up making the build look so yes um, in addition to having 10 bedrooms this build also has two bathrooms those are shared bathrooms for the dorm occupants and the bathrooms are located on the floors where the dorms are located and they're all furnished with public toilet utilities so all of the stuff that came with university like the um shower and the toilet stalls are in that bathroom other than that this build has two lounges um 
uh, gym, a laundry area, and a cafeteria, which is also one of my favorite parts of this build as well. Uh, there's also a vending machine on every floor, so I think that having all of those amenities just shows the like standard of living for this storm is really really high so here i am just playing around with this shape and making it interesting um to be honest the shape ended up being very massive in the end and to be honest i actually don't think it's that bad i actually like it being so massive because we are in foxbury and we're surrounded by all of these massive massive school buildings so having this structure be massive is actually complementary to that in my opinion and also it's not too massive that it overwhelms the neighboring residential houses because this building is really interesting because on one side you have the small you know student housing development area and then on the other side we have the really big campus buildings so i also took that in consideration and also i had a lot of red in this build because those are the school colors for foxbury as well and I gotta say my favorite part of this is just the structure of this build. I'm really, really happy with how clean it is and how simple it is. I think this build is kind of like the perfect representation of my personal style, which is a little bit more quiet, a little bit more like less overly designed, if you guys get what I mean. Um, it, it's not really trying hard. It, it's, it, it has a quiet elegance to it. I think that's like my personal aesthetic so I'm really really happy with it um other than that my other favorite part of this build has got to be all of the common areas I'm just really really happy with how everything came together um I feel like this is because of my experience in real life working in an architectural firm um, I have experience working in hotel developments and also residential um, condominium developments as well. So um, not just in terms of like work experience, but I also live in like a high rise apartment. So I'm just kind of trying to remember like things that I would see, like what the you know, like what the reception looks like and what the lounges looks like. This is definitely more of the I would say luxurious side um so yes oh i gotta say my main inspiration for the interior is the google headquarters oh my gosh i always had an admiration for the google headquarters it's because it's so fun when you think of it as an office it really doesn't look like it um it's just a place that's very conducive to people to think creatively and to you know feel like they're not working at the office if you guys get what i mean so i wanted to um capture that aspect even though this isn't an office this is technically like obviously a residential house residential development i guess a residential dorm but i still was really inspired by the google headquarters so you guys will see pops of color and just lots of bright colors to stim stimulate the mind but not too much because i feel like when you use color too much you end up losing the color like when you have too much stuff going around they kind of cancel each other out so i tend to be a little bit more conservative with my use of color but i use them in a way that is the most impactful in my opinion unfortunately i was only able to have one elevator in this lab which is kind of a bummer to be honest it's really annoying having to work with that limitation so i only put an elevator on the top level where the cafeteria is um i thought about putting doors or windows where the elevators would be opening onto in the lower floors but i just didn't like it to be honest it looked kind of distracting so i kind of just ignored that um i also was inspired by my real life college that i attended um for the layout of this um dorm because where I went to college, we had the cafeteria on the top floor and it was amazing. Imagine like being inspired by all of these surrounding buildings, like the cityscape, being able to see that while you're having, 
you know, your meals and stuff like that. It was actually amazing. Um, I should really come visit once again and just take pictures and share with you guys um, on my social media. By the way, there's been a lot of talks on social media. I don't know. For those of you guys who are still not following me on Twitter and on, on, and on Instagram, you're probably missing out on a lot of discussions because there's been a lot of that ever since university was first announced so if you're not following me yet there's links in the description if you want to do so uh so yes feel free to do that um but here we're working on the main lobby we have white walls the walls are from university and they're great they have great texture and i tried using some of the couches that came with university but to be honest they kind of look weird when i first saw them i honestly thought they were gonna be like modular sofas but they're not they're just basic simple minimalist sofas and to be honest it's fine my only problem is really the color swatches because i don't think i like the colors that they come with um except for the the yellow swatch um and maybe the green swatch but the other ones are kind of a little bit i don't know um, yeah it's kind of like a mixed bag um i'm also using that beautiful moschino sculpture on the wall it is so so gorgeous you guys it's so beautiful plus it comes in the foxberry colors as well which is amazing uh but yes here i am just furnishing some of the little details that to be honest aren't really functional they don't really do anything but they make the whole builds look realistic such as those fire escape signs and also a fire extinguisher because in my experience um on all of the apartments that i lived in um, there's always like a fire extinguisher in the hallway so I felt like that made it a lot more realistic um, and those items are from get to work actually which is such an underrated expansion pack I think get to work is definitely up there in terms of my favorite packs along with university believe it or not I know that might come as a surprise to a lot of you guys but having played Quite a bit of university i gotta say i'm pleasantly surprised with the fact that some of my initial concerns don't bother me as much um obviously i still haven't gotten that deep into the gameplay but to be honest university is giving me a pretty good impression so far so hopefully it keeps it up and yeah um at this point i think it's pretty easy to say that it's definitely one of the better packs it's definitely up there not just in terms of the features of university but in terms of how it enhances every single expansion pack that has some sort of career or whatever um i think university is really going to give you a lot of gameplay so yes really really happy with it so far you guys just saw me furnish the gym and also the laundry area as well so yeah there's um a gym that's pretty basic what's interesting about that room is that i used the carpet from uh what was it use the carpet from spooky stuff in an interesting pattern if you hit Control f that's when you will trigger the triangular carpet placement so a lot of you have been asking me about that actually so just hit Control f um, but there I was just furnishing the kind of like basic layout for the bedroom and I just copied it a couple of times. Um, so yeah, the furniture in terms of like the basic rooms are pretty much the same. Not much variation except for some little things, um, which I did change just to give it a little bit of variation. But this is the first room that we're going to be furnishing for some of the sims that I kind of had a good idea what their character was so this one i imagine is a gymnast i think that that profession really doesn't get a lot of love in the sims i don't even notice people make stuff for gymnasts so i've done like a sports themed room for like a soccer player and like for a basketball player but never a gymnast so i wanted to do that in this room so i have that mirror which has kind of like the arm that like the I don't know what that's called like the thing where that you hold on to when you're making stretches and stuff and I also put that um, 
like yoga mat in there as well. This is also the only room that has uh, a mini fridge. I imagine that would be fine because for a gymnast, they would probably be like concerned about their own health. So having a mini fridge there would be great. Plus this room is probably the farthest from the cafeteria. So yes. Um, but yeah, uh, that room also had the most school spirit as well. But moving on to this room, which is a room for kind of like a music major. I know I did another music major for my previous build, which was the Crumple Bottom Hall. But that one was a shared room. Uh, this one is obviously for an individual sim and also um, this one I think it's a little bit more sophisticated. You'll see this room have a lot of like jazz artwork and kind of it's a little bit more moody, a little bit more hipstery I would say. So um, yeah I think that's what makes it different from the other room but I'm really happy with this room. Um, it's definitely like how I would probably furnish like my real life dorm room to be honest not a lot of color um kind of like a little bit more sophisticated and a little bit more um restrained i guess i would say but yeah you guys can see me incorporate some jazz portraits over here which i really really like and also some posters from get together as well as that neon sign which i think really completes the look moving on to the upstairs this is a room for a drama major um, and I imagine her to be also like a social media influencer so um, yeah this is one of the rooms by the way if you guys want to like shuffle around the different rooms if you want to have your sim live in a specific room you could always just copy and paste the rooms trust me it's so easy i think that's one of the things that i have to give props to for the sims 4 because if this was the sims 3 it would probably take me a lot of pre-planning to get what i want um exactly where i want it to be but yeah this is the room for our drama major i put in that um like setup from get famous I actually haven't had a lot of experience with this item in particular. I don't know what that spot in the left of the table is for because there's nothing there. I tried putting clutter in there but nothing kind of works so that's weird. Also I know that I put a laptop and also like a desktop setup for this room so I will actually delete that laptop off camera because I feel like it was a little bit too much especially for a college student. Is that, ju is that just me or whatever? And this is the last room that we're going to be customizing for a specific personality and this is for a nerd and of course I had to have this room here in Foxbury because Foxbury does specialize in kind of like the tech STEM fields so I feel like having this room would be pretty um, expected. So I just put in a bunch of clutter items in here. I think this is actually probably my favorite room out of all of the ones that we've customized because of how many skill items I was able to fit in here and I also was able to fit in a lot of um, items that made this a little bit more personal. So I put that um, research computer. I don't know why you have to have a certain computer just to do research on but that's that. I also put a lot of robots in here so maybe we can pretend that you know um, this person living here is a member of the bot savants and also the debate team as well um, but yeah you'll see a lot of like robots sculptures and robot figurines over here. I also put that like that presentation thing from I think it's from get to get get to work uh, but yeah, oh, I also put a frog over there as well. It's so cute. I imagine that frog to be like something like that this person saved from an experiment. Can you guys imagine that scenario? I can. Uh, so yeah, he ended up keeping that frog in his room and keeping it as a pet. Moving on to this lounge area over here on the second floor. Um, once again, I'm putting in those um, shelves as ceiling pieces and I gotta say I really enjoyed them. I think they gave this a lot more detail on the ceiling because I did choose to build on the second to highest wall height. I felt like sometimes that could make 
it look really empty but having that drop ceiling just makes it look a lot more interesting i used the my first pet stuff love seat here as an l-shaped sofa because to be honest that's the only sofa that i can use as an l-shaped sofa so yes um but yeah this is basically a place where you know your students would probably hang out watch a game or like watch the news um just hang out um for their land just chill out um there's a little hallway over here where i put um like a vending machine i'm not sure if you guys caught it, it literally just flew by like that uh, but I did change that a little bit um, off camera. I added like a desk in there as well and some other fun little things. But now we're working on probably another one of my favorite parts of this build, um, which is the cafeteria. Um, and I gotta say, to be honest, there's nothing really remarkable in this room, probably other than the ceiling, which has skylights and also some drop shelves. But... I just love this room simply because of the fact that it's a cafeteria! Like, I'm so happy to finally be able to have cafeterias right now in-game. Um, I'm just so happy. So, yes. Um, it's a pretty small cafeteria. I was only able to fit in two um, picnic tables in here in the end, um, but I think it's fine. You know, it is a dorm. It's not like a full-on school cafeteria. I also initially went for like a darker color scheme for this area but i just didn't like that so i ended up making it a lot more lighter um and it also added in some skylights right here just to give it a little bit more of a modern like you know natural lighting i guess uh and i i really like the skylight detail i think it um makes it a lot more modern feeling if that makes any sense so here i have kind of like an individual dining area where we have like these bar stools i tried using the bar stools from university but i just didn't like the way they look so i ended up using these base game ones and that picnic table from outdoor retreat so i used that and also that rubber flooring tile i also used that as well just to make things a little bit more interesting um and i also used a lot of dine out in the cafeteria as well actually in this build in general i use a lot of dine out as well i didn't limit myself in terms of the packs that i used because there was so much to furnish so i just went ahead and furnished it with every single pack that i had which is every pack but yeah there we have um like a roof deck area like an, an outdoor dining area i guess which i mistakenly put a grill in there which I do take out in the end because obviously this lot didn't work if I had that grill so I had to take that out in the end but here we are working on kind of like the bike parking area I did realize that this lot um, was kind of like a pathway between like the residential and the campus so I did make sure to put a little pathway over there in the corner to you know have the sims walk onto there if they want to go to school from here but yeah here we have this cute little biking bike parking area which i really liked also put a flagpole in there which i found in debug from the university stuff but it doesn't look like it has the flags from either foxbury or um brightchester to be honest but i won't show you the landscaping because to be honest there really isn't much landscaping in this it's just hedges and grass which to be honest is kind of like the more modern trend of landscaping anyway so yeah i did that um there's also just one tree in this build um so i just put one tree in there and some garbage bins and i also put this logo over here because i feel like i feel like this is a pretty standard feature in universities they would always have this little logo area in front of like the main driveway so yeah i just put in that little detail over there put in some plants some grass in there as well because why not make it look a little bit more eco-friendly i also put in some solar panels on the roof there as well if you guys in case you guys miss it but i think that's actually going to be it for this build so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up my commentary here 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and if you did, please feel free to let me know in the comments below what you think and also you can share and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Sims 4 content from me. But that's going to be it. Thank you guys so so much for watching. You all have an awesome 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 day. Enjoy the rest of the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Oh, <music>